Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another video for you today. Um, and it's about something that I mention quite a lot in my videos and you're probably fit, uh, you know, fed up of hearing me say this, but I really, really hate sanding. Now in that, you know, in, in that respect, I'm my own worst enemy because basically I like a sanded finish on something that I've made, I just don't like doing it. Um, now, I would really, really like to get a bench sander. Um, it's not something I can afford at the moment. There's other things I want to spend my money on first. Um, but what I do have is this. This is a standard kind of handheld belt sander. Um, and it's something that I've sort of used it periodically for sort of household stuff, that kind of thing. And it's really good for sanding flat things like door frames and planks and that kind of thing. Um, but it got me thinking, can I use it in another way? Now, obviously, I can't hold it and kind of try and sand a piece of work like this. It just won't work. Um, but it got me thinking. I thought, you know, maybe I could build something like a little stand for it with a locking bar, um, you know, screw it down to my bench, that kind of thing. And that's what I, that was what I was going to do today. But actually, I've changed my mind um, because just off camera, and you've seen this before, I've got my little bench vise. And I thought, you know what? It's pretty sturdy. Um, and there's a nice little piece here just on the front of this um, sander for sort of just steadying it while you work. And I figured, you know, maybe that will fit in there. I haven't tried this yet, so this is going to be sort of a first attempt on camera here. But I figure if I can get it set up in there, in conjunction with on the back, you've got a little trigger that turns it on and off. Um, and there's a little switch next to the trigger, which basically means I can pull the trigger in, press the switch, and then just let go. And it will carry on just, just whirring away until I press the trigger again. Um, so it will operate without me touching it, which means I've got both hands free to kind of put my piece of work and do what I need to do. So that's what I'm going to try today. I'm just going to move the camera around a little bit so you can see what I'm doing and we'll try and get this set up. Right then guys, so here we go. Here is my vise and as I say you've got this little piece just up the front here. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, that's just meant to be, to be held by your off hand while you're sanding to steady it. And what I figured I was going to try and do was get that set up like this. Uh, now it will fit in there and if I just spend a couple of seconds playing around, seeing if I can get this in time. As I say, I haven't tried this yet, um, so it may or may not work. Again, it's good sort of hard plastic on this, so it shouldn't break. At least that's my hope. Right, okay, well that is locked in solid. Um, now the two problems I can foresee is that the dust is going to be coming upwards. Now there's obviously a little dust bag to catch things here. It's not brilliant. It does sort of spray around a bit. Um, but you know, this is in, this is going nowhere. I've obviously covered up my drill just so I don't get too much dust in any important bit. What do I think I do? Let me just try plugging this in and see how it works. So. <laughs> Okay, I mean that seems fine, I mean I can, t I can turn that on, I mean I won't do it just yet because you can't hear me while it's running. Um, but if I just find a piece of off cut somewhere, uh, tell you what, let's try this. So this is just one of my old throw mallets, um, and you can see that the handle is not brilliant, it's sort of got lots of tool marks in it. I'm just wondering if I can smooth that down. So I'll do this on camera for you, just to see how things go. Okay, so that was just a really, really quick example, but you can see how quickly I've managed to take down this, um, these sort of tool marks. Hopefully that's picking up on camera right there. Um, but you know, this hopefully will be something that will really sort of revolutionize the way I finish off some of my work. Right then guys, well that was it. It was just meant to be a really quick video just to show you an idea that I've had. I mean, it seems to be working okay. I mean, it's pretty noisy. Um, you know, I'll probably sort of skip through or maybe mute some of that footage in the future when I'm using it. Um, my, my main reason for this at the moment is obviously we're in the middle of our uh, two cooksers that we're carving. Um, and I really like the idea of using this for the outside of the cooksers 
just to get them smoothed down, ready for sort of a finer grade of sandpaper, which I'll have to do by hand, um, and a lot of the little nooks and crannies, but to be fair, if this will do the lion's share of the work, I'm going to be a really, really happy man. Um, so that was it guys, you know, I hope it was useful, maybe giving you something to think about. Um, I mean again, this is a really sort of um, sort of bodged up version of a bench sander, so you know, if, if you're going to try it yourself, which I'm not recommending, but you know, do so at your own risk and just take a bit of safety into account. Um, I mean there's not a lot of dust coming off of it at the moment, um, which would actually surprise me a little bit because when I use it sort of flat, um, when I'm sort of planing a, a door frame or something like that, um, it does kick off a lot of dust. Maybe it's because what I'm using is, is obviously not taking up the whole width of the sanding belt as it normally would. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty impressed. So like I say, hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and you'll certainly be seeing this again in other videos. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.